Hello everybody, back again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 5th, and today was an absolutely gorgeous day outside. Got a little warm, but absolutely beautiful out. Couldn't have asked for much better weather. It's cooling down nicely, it's about 11 o'clock at night. Um, it's, it's not chilly by any means, but it's going to get nice tonight. It would definitely be a beautiful night to be out camping. I don't know if you guys can hear, there's tons of crickets and stuff and that in the background. Katie did, it's all kind of making a bunch of noise. I'm actually down here at the farm. You can kind of see the old house behind me. Um, I'm down here taking care of my father. And basically, his cancer is kicking his butt. He was in with my brother and that. And he decided he didn't want to be there anymore. Different things going on. So I ended up moving back down here to the farm. And I'm going to stay the night and take care of him down here. And do that whole good thing. So I spent most of the day packing him up, getting him down here, hauling stuff around. Moving things around the house, kind of getting it somewhat ready for him and that. Kind of throwing out a bunch of food that had left in the fridge that went bad on him. Um, just kind of cleaning out stuff here and there. Just moving things around, getting the chair where he wants it, getting the, the satellite TV turned back on. We're 11 miles from town, so there's no cable out here, so we had to kind of deal what we can do. They turned off the satellite TV, which we turned it back on. We are going to save like 15 bucks by doing that because they wanted to, you know, basically bring us back as a valued customer kind of thing, whatever. So we got that brought back on, which was good. So I'm very happy about that part. So... Checking in to get an internet down here, because right now I have no internet. My iPad sort of kind of gets a signal. It'll send an email after about the 15th or 20th try if there's no pictures in it, just words only. So it's kind of a pain in the butt there. It won't download emails worth a damn. So I'm going through and end up going back to town tonight, or today, this afternoon I went in there, and download my emails, check some stuff. Um, got, on inter got on YouTube for a few minutes, not very long. But it's one of those things that just, I've got to get internet down here if I'm going to be down here full time. I can't, I can't go without my internet i'll go absolutely batshit crazy so but i kind of i worked on the door i uh, built some steps i don't know if you're gonna see that little wooden platform right there and stuff i kind of built that there was a big giant gap between the concrete to the back door of the farm and everybody's where they're gonna fall and slip into it kind of stuff so i built that just out of scrap wood down in the basement uh, it's nothing fancy just three two by sixes and a two by fours underneath it for runners solid it's level it worked well it's level with the concrete the concrete is not level with the house so it's best i can get i didn't really feel like shimmying it up i'm gonna see if he wants it a little bit taller i kind of think it should be about an inch and a half maybe two inches taller i'm gonna let him walk in and out of it a couple times see what his thoughts are on it and then i'll worry about shimming it up to level i'm gonna make it level with the house platform and then off from the concrete so but there's plenty of room on the concrete to step off there. Uh, there's also a giant hole on the east door we use quite a bit. It's the door he likes to use better. It has a better handrail and stuff on it. There's a giant um, like hole where him and I, oh crap, I mean, it was a couple years back, maybe three years ago or so. He had a water main leak that um, the main line coming to the house had busted. So we all dug that back out by hand stuff. And when he's backfilled it, the dirt just kind of settles in because it never got, he didn't overfill it. So he wanted to walk on it. But as the time went on, instead of taking a bucket once a month or so or every three weeks or so putting a half a bucket in there he didn't do that and now it's this giant hole down in the ground there so i put in like four giant wheelbarrows full of dirt from the piles of dirt left over from the basement and didn't even make a dent in it so i'm going to be out here shoveling again tomorrow and it's not a real necessity but it's just something i want to get leveled up i'm going to trip and hurt myself i also found out there's stuff like just scrap steel and bricks and random things all around the the barn all around the shed all around the garage all that kind of stuff and i've like four times i've twisted my ankle walking around here so i'm gonna have to start going in with the weeder or even the mower or something start trying to cut myself some paths to where i want to go and get all this metal cleaned up because i'm gonna break my damn ankle and then i'm out for the marathon and i'm gonna be pissed off if that happens so but as of right now it was all today was 99 percent about him um getting situated getting his you know cherry wants it pillows where he's ready to go air conditioner temperature he wants it all that good stuff so Definitely a lot of that thing just kind of seems like it just takes kind of forever. Making sure his meds are all right. Um, meeting with hospice again. Making sure we got the refills we need. All that kind of thing. So definitely um, it'll see how tomorrow goes. See how tonight goes a big thing. Because usually he has a much worse time at night is when the pain kind of really kicks his ass. And we're thinking possibly that the um, hospice has said it might be a little bit of the um, sundowning, which is a disease that you can get a little bit in your older age and stuff. Usually with urinary tract infections, it tends to affect it a lot. So I'm going to have them do a little check and make sure on that, that everything's all right there. But it, people tend to get really scared at night. So I'm wondering if he's actually more fear, if it actually is the pain. So I'm not really sure what's going on. But I have gotten convinced to when he's, if he falls asleep during the day, to go ahead and just stay asleep during the day. Don't force yourself to wake up all the time. 
and that just to go ahead and, you know, if your body's resting, why not? And like he said, he'll be up at night when he's in pain. That still gives a crap. One, you might not be in as much pain because you'll get good rest during the day, and that's a good sign. And two, if you are up at night, TV works in too, so who gives a damn? So other than that, um, not a big deal to sit here with my dog. I don't know if you can really see him there or not, but he's actually sitting on my leg at the moment. So he's kind of being a little bit of a turd here, but he's kind of feeling a little jealous and stuff that I've been spending so much time trying to take care of my father, and he's definitely feeling neglected a little bit. So he'll get over it, and we'll make it through. So... Anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.